Okay, doing a audio test with a new mic that I got on Amazon oh, called the Pop Voice. Uh, right now I'm talking without it. Um, getting ready to do just kind of like uh, some videos on bus life, but so I figured some of the, something like this might really come in handy. Um, anyways, so that's it without the mic in. Okay, now the mic is in. Let's see how that does, but um, I'm gonna forget about the mic for a second and um, just kind of do a little um, video podcast, not podcast. I mean, all this is new to me, the whole YouTube uh, channels. I've been meaning to, I follow a lot of them, love them. They've inspired a lot of my lifestyle and what I do and um, or, or even more so, um, kept me motivated when I was low. And so, um, I feel like I should get back to that. I think that there, there are individuals out there that, um, will be able to relate a lot to my, myself and my life, my lifestyle, my career choice, my traveling, my, you know, just, just everything. And I don't think it's mainstream. I don't, I'm not trying to reach the masses, but, um, if I can uh, be a motivational voice um, or inspire another, uh, at least one, then, you know, it's a cool thing to do in life. You know, each one of us should try to do that for somebody somewhere, whether it's uh, via a stranger online across the world or fellow neighbor, fellow camper, uh, family, whoever. Anyways, uh, I've been in Flagstaff, Arizona now for a couple weeks. No. About a month now. I'd have to retrace the journals to uh, to really figure out what day I came up here in the bus. But um, got a base pad set up in Prescott Valley to store uh, finished finish paintings, um, inventory, bikes, supplies, gear, tools, all that kind of stuff. Um, I found that trying to be fully self-contained out of the bus alone where my entire life exists in and on and around the bus is impossible if I want to continue on a career path um, as a fine artist. I just, it, it, it's impossible, you know. As much as I'd like to, the, the idea is very romantic, um, but the reality is I have to have storage, you know. Do I necessarily need an actual house and shower and kitchen and all that? No. Um, if I get any of that, it's a huge bonus. It's like, ah, oh, man, this is nice for a little bit. But I love living in this rig. It's I can't I can't express how much it's it's surreal. You know, it's it's simple. Um, I like showering out of a bag. In the woods, I like shitting in a bucket. I like looking around me and seeing this is my backyard for the next couple of weeks. Um, and then it doesn't become stagnant. I'm moving on to the next place and and uh, I can come back. And it can be by my backyard again later. Uh, so there's some, some really cool dynamics. Um, you know, I just wanted to start this for now. Um, maybe I'll, I'll get into certain topics or, um, I, I feel, I feel it on me, uh, my heart, um, and partially obligated to, um, open some windows into my life and my lifestyle, my world, the bus world. Um, one for the sake of loved ones, you know, um, I have some very dear family that I love and, um, I, between not having reception and then loving my solitude and my space, I, it's a way to say it. I don't, I don't talk to them regularly. Um, uh, I probably could talk to them more. Maybe I should, I don't know. Um, but I guess this is one way for me to clue them in. I'm okay. I'm alive, I'm happy, um, 
I, yes, I do call them every once in a while. Um, just not, not all the time. <laughs> I like, I like my space. I like my quiet and, you know, and then when I don't like my quiet, I like meeting strangers. I like meeting new people. Um, I like just the, the fresh energy everywhere and the constant change. I love it. Thrive on it. Uh, anyways, that's a wrap for now. 